Hi everyone, this is Melissa Valentine from Cute Nail Art, and today I'm going to show you how to do these really cool Friday the 13th or Jason nails. To get this look, you will need polishes in black, white, red, brown, and silver. You start off with a base coat to protect your natural nail from staining and damage from the polish, and to help your polish stick better. Then you're going to go over your index, ring, pinky, and thumb with black polish. Now paint your middle finger solid white. You may need two coats for opacity. After this dries, you're going to take a large dotting tool and some red polish and create some red dots in various spots on your black nails. These are going to be the blood drips coming down. Take a smaller dotting tool and drag the dots upward to create a dripping streak. You might need a little extra red polish to do this. Now connect all of these dripping streaks together near the cuticle. Try to cover up all the black in the cuticle area. Do the same on your other black nails, except the ring finger which we'll be painting the machete on. Now for the white nail, you're going to start working on Jason's mask. Take a dotting tool with black polish to create the eyes. Spread the black around to make the eyes slightly larger. Now create four black dots at the top of the forehead. Create two black dots just below the dots that are on each end. Now make three black dots below but to the sides of the eyes. The nose will just be a single black dot and then the bottom will just be two rows of four black dots. In this case I did have to move the nose up a little bit because the two rows of four at the bottom were really crowding the nose. Now you go in the forehead area above the eyes and create the red triangle with red polish and a detail brush. The point should be going upward. You can also see that just to the side of the eyes where we put those three dots by the lower sides, I took one of the dots out to give me some more room for the red streaks that go on the side of the face. I have very narrow nails, so I have to work with what I have. Now for the nose, take some beige polish and create two streaks coming down from the top to the sides of the nose dot. And this will kind of give it that illusion of a curved nose. Now we're going to start work on the machete. On your ring finger, make a stripe slanting across your nail in silver polish. Looking back now, I probably would have done this in white first and then went silver over on top of that because that would have made the silver show up better, but it still looked good. You create the shape of the machete, which is a straight line on top, and then a curve at the bottom that comes in thinner at the edge of the nail where we're going to create the handle. For the handle, we're just going to use brown polish and create two straight lines and then fill in the space between them. Now we're going to take a dotting tool with red polish and we're going to create a little streak of blood going across the curve of the machete blade. And then we're going to make some drip streaks coming down from it just to give it that gory element. Here I just made two little streaks coming down and then I'm going to put a couple of drips underneath that. Now for my thumbnail, I'm going to be drawing the number 13 on it with white polish. Just take your time and use a small detail brush. You might have to come in from different angles to get the curves. And I added a few details just to make the number 1 stand out a little bit better. Now I came in with some red polish on my detail brush and I'm creating some red streaks and you know a little bit of goriness to go over the 13. Let this all dry for about five minutes, then go over everything with a nice fast dry top coat. This will help level everything out and make it nice and shiny, and it'll protect it from chipping. And that's it, you're all done. Thank you for watching and enjoy your Halloween.